Burke readies himself. Ooh. Smacks it towards goal. A very, very speculative effort. Power forces O'Donnell back. Brophy's first touch is good, but again, smothered by white shirts. And it's been kept in play. Oh, McCreen, he's lost the bounce of the ball, though. And that's going to be a free kick. I think it was Ricky Lamy who was in strongly. Yep. On Eamon Brophy. Um, he's always trying to get around the ball. And certainly, you know, certainly a high foot from, from Ricky Lamy. It'll be Chris Burke. It's flicked on by El McCreaney. Is it going to come at the back yes. post to Dicker? A fantastic controlled finish from Kelly's captain. And we said it was going to be the cleanest opportunity they've had. And Gary Dicker makes it count. 1-0 to Kilmarnock. 39 minutes played, Andy. Not often you see Gary Dicker in this uh, score sheet, but the ball breaks to him and he lashes it home past the goalkeeper and Kilmarnock hit the front. And, uh, you know, it's brilliant. But it's been against the run of play at times. It has to be said, Livingston, just a moment ago, as you said, had a big opportunity, but Kilmarnock come up the other end with the ball into the box and it comes all the way through and Dicker blasts it home and Kilmarnock have the lead, Alan. But it was absolutely the right thing to do, the right kind of free kick because we saw that line of seven or eight white shirts right across the box. So don't try a high ball in there, lash it across and it either gets a flick on for a Kilmarnock player or a missed kick from a Livingston player. That's exactly what happened, it fell to Dicker and he could almost line it up as long as he missed it, the Livingston player, it was going inside that post. It's been a good game, although it's only 1-0, there's been a lot more activity than that suggests. Burke with an intelligent pass into okay. the path of O'Donnell who then gets round his man, Brophy on the turn. Good block by Guthrie, now McKenzie's chance and oh. it's in from Rory McKenzie! He caught the ball on the volley and that will bring a smile to the face of Kilmarnock's number seven. It's 2-0 and Kelly are in control at Rugby Park. Yeah, they've doubled their lead and that is crucial to the outcome of this match. You all see the next goal is really going to have an impact in the game and wow, I think it may have taken a slight deflection. I want to see it again uh, to take it past and deceive Sarkic and it is 2-0. Great ball in. You know, Brophy twisting, turning, looking, couldn't quite find uh, the way to go but in the end McKenzie it fell to him and he smashes it home and Kilmarnock via the deflection are 2-0 to the good really intelligent play on the wing by Burke and then subsequently O'Donnell Brophy's effort was good blocked well by Guthrie McKenzie's contact was decent and it did deflect into the back of the net past Sarkic I think it was one of the Livy men there can't quite tell from the replay it may have been Crawford I know Mackenzie's been desperate for a goal since he worked his way back into the team. Header by Guthrie, McMillan. Alan Power not letting that one go, and Bartley felt the full force of it. Chris Burke's not happy with Bartley. Let's take a look at this then. It was Power in strongly. I think it, I think it was clearly a foul. I think perhaps for the reaction to the challenge, I think he's not too happy with it. Here we go. Thunderous contact there, McLean wants to speak to one of them Bartley and Alan Power are not finished here and out comes the yellow card for Alan Power what about that first touch though into the path and then and strongly were Miller and Del Fabro yeah. and out comes the yellow card for the veteran striker yeah, Del Fabro's just uh, letting the referee know that it was uh, an elbow, I think the referee knew that and that's why the card's coming out Miller certainly not happy with the decision didn't take him long to get booked though Burke battling with Bartley and it's Chris Burke who's gone down holding his face Barkley flicked out an arm I'd like to see I'm not sure how much intent was there there certainly looked like there was contact Burke doesn't seem like there's too much pain on his face it's just a yellow for Marvin Bartley I think he definitely caught Chris Burke with a flailing limp was Let's it, take a look. Was it intentional or not? That's the big question. He's just, he's he's almost palmed him off like yeah. some sort yeah. of rugby move. Back with the dummy. Now McKenzie. Low ball in. And it's going to come to Del Fabro. Oh. A real chance for the centre half. Just didn't quite connect well enough with it. Livingston defence have done too much wrong today, to be no. honest. That's a clattering challenge from Del Fabro and Miller. And I think it's a deserved yellow card. Del Fabro, no complaints whatsoever. Hand on mm. McLean's shoulder, accepts his punishment. Levy's number 20. Lamy's delivery. Hamelainen and Miller grappling. 
It's Devlin who fires it across goal and it's bounced in. There you go. Just as we were talking about, all it takes is one chance. And it was Lee Miller who made contact with the ball, diverted it towards Bernescu's goal. And that's Kelly's clean sheet run over. 84 minutes played and Lee Miller just urging his teammates to get things going here. Well, that's the last thing you want from a Kilmarnock point of view. Just as it seemed, the, the belief would, is starting to drop away from the Livingston team. The ball comes across to get it over there. Thomas infield to McKenzie. Miller's on the left, he's onside. That's where it goes. Miller takes the ball down, up against Lithgow. Goes around the outside, Miller goes for the far post. And it's just gone wide. That's what you want to see from Liam Miller on the left-hand side. Beat his man, take a shot at goal. Unfortunately, just the wrong side of the post, Andy. Yeah, unfortunate. Good effort. Uh, just a fraction wide, and that would have put the game beyond Livingston's reach. The fact, was he was taking, the fact he was going to his left, though, made it narrower. And That's it. And that is that. <coughs> Kelly have three points, a 2-1 win here at home to Livingston. Gary Decker and Rory McKenzie, the goal scorers, in what was a professional, accomplished, uncomfortable performance for the Ayrshire men.